On your table, you'll have a copy of the entire alphabet, upper and lower case. Um, but as far as practicing, I decided to do it a little bit different this year. And I broke it down so that you're really studying the strokes, practicing on a drawing of mine, and then two of your own. So hopefully this will help uh, writing the letters in calligraphy make a little more sense. So if you look real close at this worksheet, you notice a bunch of arrows and numbers. That means the stroke and which direction it's going in. So like here's the uh, A, stroke one, two with the flick, three through the middle, and four slides into that one. So here we go. One, two with the flick, three goes through the middle, four starts way over here and slides in. That part that's below the main line of your letter, that's called a descender. If you have a letter that goes above the uh, top line, let's see, maybe that, that V right there, that's called an ascender because it's going above the top line. Most of your letters are two lines high, and consistency in lettering is very important. All right, so let's do an A without my lines. So one, two and a flick, three through the middle, and four is the descender. One more time. One, two, three, and a descender. All right, lowercase. So there's stroke one, stroke two with the flick, and three across the top. So one, flick, two with the flick, three across the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, for the V, stroke one, stroke two, slides in and around. Three, we can start a little closer to the middle, and then stop. We can bring uh, number four, slide across the bottom, and connect it. If you're a left-handed uh, writer, um, as many years as I've taught calligraphy, I have never learned to successfully teach um, left-handed calligraphy. It's more in you learning how to use the pen, and your, the way your letters look is gonna be different from us righties. Uh, because of the way that the pen, the angle of the pen, things that are thin for us would be thick for you because the direction is a little bit different. Um, and I'll just have to work with you individually on that. Sorry, lefties. Stroke one, two, three, and four comes across the bottom. One, two, three, four. So lefties, it's not to say you can't do it, it's just you have to figure it out. I've had some students that were very successful with it. It also got a lot easier when I went to this pen, um, the marker pen instead of the ink, the type that you dip in the ink. Um, but I still have hope for you lefties. All right, one and a flick, two slides around. There's your lowercase b. One and a flick, Two, slide around. Oh. My pen is moving around because I can't hold it with my left hand because I'm holding the phone recording. One, flick, two, flick. One, flick, two. One, two. Lowercase. One, just like the big one, it's just smaller. One, two. One, two. All right, uppercase D. One. And stop and bring that third stroke in. Let's try that one again. Got out of whack. One straight down. Two, three, drag it in. One, two, three. All right, lowercase d. Stroke one with the flick, 
two is this tall part with the flick, and three caps it off. One, two, three. One, two, three. E. One goes straight down, two slides across the top, and my paper is running away from me. Let's try that again. Two with the back flip, three flick, four slides across the bottom with an upward flick. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and a four. My back flips are a little hard, back flicks, because I don't quite have the right angle trying to hold the phone at the same time. One, two is a little E. One, two, one, two. F, try it straight down with a long back flick. Two across the top and a short flick. Three through the middle with a short flick. One long flick. Two back flick, three back flick, one long flick, two, three. There's a rhythm to writing in calligraphy. Lowercase f, one, two across the top, three through the middle, and number four makes it fancy. So one, two, three. And four. One, two, three, and four. Um, sometimes you'll see in calligraphy letters joined together, like these two F's right here, or those two L's connected together. Um, it's a flourish, it just makes it a little bit fancier. Sometimes if an E is at the end of, end of a line, they might add this little extra tongue to it. This makes it a little bit fancy. So here's what that would look like. My husband's name is Jeffrey. He's got two F's in his name. So I could put these F's real close together, like stroke one and stroke one. And maybe stroke two kind of touches. There we go. And then the flag through the middle connects both of them. And maybe I'll give a special flourish to that one maybe a little bit longer flick on that one. So that's a double F. All right, let's look at the G. One, two, like a C. Three comes straight down and connects in, and four. So that's stroke one, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, and a four. Lowercase g, one and a flick, two, three, and four descender, one and a flick, two, three across the top, and four is the descender. One, two, three, I think I got a little out of order, but it still worked out. Uppercase h, Again, these are flourishes. Um, I'll show a couple of different types of H's. It has maybe too many flourishes for your taste. One with a flick, two and a flick up, three through the middle. You could leave your H like that, but if we will make it really fancy, add a few more. So here's one, there's a different type of H, two, three, one and a flick, two and a flick, three, and maybe that's as fancy as you want it to be. All right, lowercase h, again, it has a flourish on it. Down with a flick, that was not a good contact, there we go. Two around with a flick, and a little flourish, no flourish. straight down. That was bad contact. Okay. I think I put those out of order. 
So it says number one comes across the top, number two comes down through the middle, and number three across the bottom. Our case, down with the flick, and then a diamond pull. That's what that little short spot means. So gentle slide up, down with the flick, and a diamond pull.